Hello, this is Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. In today's episode, I'm going to show you all of the work that we did here for this podcast room at University of Toronto Scarborough campus. Their radio station is called Radio Forward. Please check them out. And this is the first room of a couple rooms worth of work that we are going to be doing here. And here's a little sneak peek of everything that we did there. We upholstered their ceiling tiles. We did acoustic clouds. We did this full feature wall for the backdrop of their podcasting. Full acoustic panels. We did some HVAC deadening. Um, some more work above in the ceiling there. I'm going to show you everything we did here for this job. So first we're starting off with the acoustic felt. This is called Eco Felt. This is an acoustic uh, dampening material. Comes in a 4x8 sheet. Um, and we are cutting this to size to match the existing PVC tiles that these clients had. These PVC tiles were 19.7 inches square. So I'm just using it as a template and marking out with my tape and marking the front face of those with a piece of tape so I know and just cutting this to size on my table saw. So this cut is gonna make sure that all of our squares are that same 19.7 inch square. So that way when we glue these onto the wall, everything has a nice consistent grid and there's no gaps where you can see the wall through them. So here is the radio station. This is Radio Forward on University of Toronto's Scarborough campus. We're gonna do a quick little tour of how the rooms started off. This is the radio broadcast room. We're going to be doing a little bit of work in there as well at a later date. And here is the production room. This is the next room that we're, we're uh, going to be working on right now. A lot of cool stuff going on in that room. Stay tuned for that. And here is the podcast room. You can see how it started here. No treatment at all. Um, they had a little bit of that eggshell type foam stuck to the ceiling kind of unsightly, we're gonna be doing a full makeover of this room. So we're starting off with our acoustic panels. We built these ones to be six feet tall to get some really good coverage on their blank walls in the rear of the podcast room there. So I'm just gonna set up my laser level. Uh, we did equal gaps from the floor and the ceiling and just setting up my laser there and just getting all of my flush mount hangers installed. If you wanna see how I built these style of acoustic panels or how to install them, I will link to some of my previous videos uh, we have lots of videos on this channel of building that style of acoustic panel and installing them. So here we are installing the tiles. This is going to be the backdrop of their podcast setup. And I'm just using PL construction adhesive and gluing them in and just using some masking tape on the wall just to hold them in place just while that PL construction adhesive sets. And there is the finished product of the backdrop wall turned out pretty cool and worked out well with the amount of PVC tiles and acoustic felt that we had. Here is the sound dampening material that we're going to be using for their HVAC. So they had some HVAC noise coming from opposite rooms and also from the actual HVAC vents themselves. So you can see there's cavities there that um, above this drop ceiling just go into some of the other rooms there. And since all of this is exposed, there's a lot of machine noise coming from the HVACs in uh, both other rooms and from this room itself. So we're going to be using that sound dampening material and that's a fire rated sound dampening material. What it is is a mass loaded vinyl that has the that reflective fire rated coating on it. You can see we insulated one of the HVAC pipes right there and on the opposite side of the mass loaded vinyl is a fiberglass acoustic insulation. So you see we're just sealing off some of the spaces where we were getting a lot of that machine noise coming from other rooms and then insulating the actual HVAC pipes themselves. So that was one aspect of the job. The client put the rest of their eggshell foam up above that drop ceiling there just to get even just a little bit more absorption um, up where that HVAC system is. So here we are, we're gonna upholster these ceiling tiles just since they have all of the residue of the glue and they're just kind of outdated and unsightly. So we're gonna be upholstering in the same fabric that we upholstered the acoustic panels in just to give some consistency and a nice look to the ceiling. So simply, I am just using a spray adhesive. I'm using the 3M Super 77 spray adhesive and some uh, staples just to staple to that front face. And you can see I'm putting a piece of acoustic insulation on the back side just to add a little bit more density and a little bit more absorption above the ceiling tiles there just to help with some of that HVAC noise that is coming into the podcast room there. So there's the first four tiles done. You can see it's making a big difference with the visuals of the drop ceiling there and it's a nice refresh and just a nice update for this room here. So once again, just 
Super 77, the 3M spray adhesive is what we're using. Just spraying it on there, letting it get tacky before I put the acoustic insulation on. You can see I cut this piece of rock wool just a little bit shy to clear those um, sprinkler or those hot water lines rather. Um, and you can see we just fit, fit the ceiling tiles right back into the grid there. And this is a great way to refresh these ceiling tiles, especially considering all of the adhesive and all of the stuff that's been stuck on them. So we're going to go ahead and get all of these accessible ceiling tiles covered up. See, we got a majority of the room there. And around the sprinklers and around their carbon monoxide detectors, around any pieces of the ceiling tile that required um, those elements to stay, what I did was I just stapled the fabric straight into it and then used an X-Acto knife just to tuck the excess fabric into um, any of the gaps. Like for that sprinkler, I was able to just tuck the remaining fabric right under that grommet for the sprinkler just so it looks nice and finished. And same thing with that um, monoxide, or I'm not sure if it's a monoxide detector or a motion detector on the other side of the room, but we just tuck that extra fabric right underneath the grommet just to make it look nice and finished. And I'm just going in with a Sharpie and sharpieing black the staples so that you can't see the staples when you look up at the fabric. So there we go. There is the room all upholstered with the ceiling tiles. It's a great refresh for the ceiling. And the client's just going to go over those T-bars of the drop ceiling just to get rid of some of their remaining adhesive there. And that is a nice way to refresh this ceiling. And we added a lot of absorption up there and the HVAC absorption as well. So that takes care of the ceiling treatment for this room. We have a few more just small panels going up here just to fill in some of the gaps here. And we did a 2 by 3 foot above right there. And then we did a 2 by 2 foot square uh, below that light switch. So just getting those installed. And just our regular panel installation process, just our drywall anchors and our flush mount hangers. So here are the T-bar hangers that we're using to hang our acoustic clouds off of the drop ceiling track. And these hangers, they just slide into each other. There's a left side and a right side, and you just slide them into each other and that creates the hook. And that is the hook that we are going to be using to hang our acoustic clouds off of. So I built these acoustic clouds the same way that we built our acoustic panels. We just did a different size. We did two by four foot and our, we kept them at this lower profile because the client's going to have some light boxes and just some things that they're mounting for their video equipment to be pointing into uh, the podcast backdrop area. And we didn't want to have anything casting a shadow. We wanted to keep everything nice and tight close to the ceiling. So that's why we kept these ceiling uh, clouds at a two inch depth. So I'm just screwing in the screw hooks right now, uh, just pre-drilling, drilling in the screw hook. And you can see those hooks just simply slide right into those T-bar hooks, right? It's as simple as that. Getting the second one up right here, and then I'm going to match the distance just so that these two are in line with each other. And super convenient using these T-bar hangers because they can just slide along the drop ceiling track. Allows us really great adjustability. And I just got those hangers off of Amazon. Here's the third one in the rear of the room going up. This one required a little bit of bending just due to the a um, little bit less adjustability because I'm going on the horizontal um, hangers there. And here's the final ceiling cloud going up. This is the one that's going to be right over uh, the desk area where people will be podcasting from. So this one was the important one that it wasn't blocking any of the lights and that it's nice and tucked close to the ceiling. Of course, that sprinkler, non-obstructed, important as well. And here is the room with all of our treatment in. The clients are going to be building their desk, which I'll have a shot of in a moment. And you'll see the finished product of this podcast room. There's the rear of the room. We've got all of our six foot panels, our ceiling clouds, all of our ceiling treatment, our upholstery of the ceiling tiles for aesthetics. And you can see really cool transformation of this room went from a mostly empty and untreated room to now it's ready for podcasting. And in this next clip right here, you'll get to see the desk. And 
Really cool desk these guys got. Looks awesome. Can't wait to see how it looks with the chairs and all the microphones set up and all of the gear. And when they do a test run, super cool. Really happy with how this room turned out. Please stay tuned for the production room. We're doing a lot of really cool custom work in that production room. We're going to be doing some custom base traps. We're going to be doing a full fiber optic star ceiling. That's going to be really cool. Um, so stay tuned. This has been Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.